Sagutan natin tong problem, divide the following. So, meron tayong division of polynomials. So, unang muna is isasulat natin yung first polynomial, which is itong 12x squared plus 12x minus 32, siya yung magiging dividend. So, 12x squared plus x minus 32. So, dapat naka-arrange in decreasing power of x. Okay? So, siya yung nasa loob ng division symbol. And itong 3x minus 5, siya yung divisor nasa labas ng division symbol. So, unang step is i-divide nyo itong first term ng dividend, 12x squared, by the first term ng divisor, 3x. So, we have 12x squared divided by 3x is... So, 12 divided by 3, it's 4. Then, x squared divided by x cancels si x. Magiging x na lang. We have 4x. And then, multiply natin itong 4x sa bawat terms. Itong 3x minus 5. So, 4x times 3x, it's 12x squared. So, let me sa baba. 4x times negative 5, it's negative 20x. Tapat tapatin nyo lang yung same degree of x. Then, subtract. 12x squared minus 12x squared, 0. Cancel. Then, x minus negative 20x, it's positive 21x. Ngayon, ibibring down nyo itong negative 32. Then, follow the same uh, algorithm. So, divide naman natin itong 21x by 3x. So, we have 21x divided by 3x is 21 divided by 3, it's positive 7. Then, cancel nyo na lang x. So, 7 na lang. Then again, multiply yung 7 sa bawat term. So, 7 times 3x, it's 21x. Then, 7 times negative 5, negative 35. Then, subtract ulit. 21x minus 21x, 0, cancel. Negative 32 minus negative 35 will be positive 3. So, itong 3 natin, siya yung magiging remainder. So, ang sagot natin is 4x plus 7 with a remainder of 3. So, paano isulit yung answer? Yung quotient, 4x plus 7... Then, plus, yung remainder, gawin yung numerator, over, dapat sa same divisor na 3x minus 5. So, this is the final answer. Okay, let's have the second problem. So, sulat ko muna itong uh, first polynomial as the dividend. So, 3x to the fifth. Kumawansin natin, wala tayong power of 4. So, pwede nating lagyan ng placeholder na 0, x to the power of 4, para sunod-sunod pa rin na decreasing power of x. Then, kopyahin na lang natin yung remaining. We have negative 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 36x plus 48. So, siya yung nasa loob ng division symbol. Then, itong divisor, sulat din natin, x cubed. Minus 2x squared. So, wala siyang x term. So, pwede nyo lagyan ng placeholder na 0x and then plus 6. So, divide muna natin yung 3x to the 5th by x cubed. So, 3x to the 5th divided by x cubed. So, 3 over 1, it's just 3. Then, x to the 5th divided by x cubed. Cancel yung x cubed. Yung x to the 5th magiging x squared na lang. So, we have 3x squared. Then, multiply natin itong 3x squared sa bawat term. So, we have 3x squared times x cubed. It's 3x to the fifth. 3x squared times negative 2x squared. Negative 6x to the fourth. 3x squared times 0x. So, 0 lang pero gawin ko na lang positive 0x cubed. Para katapat nitong x cubed term. Then, 3x squared times 6. It's positive 18x squared. Then, subtract uli natin. 3x to the 5th minus 3x to the 5th. Cancel, 0. 0 minus negative 6x to the 4th. Positive 6x to the 4th. Negative 4x cubed minus 0. Negative 4x cubed pa rin. Then, 2x squared minus 18x squared. It's negative 16x squared. Okay? Tapos, ibibring down nyo itong positive 36x. Ngayon, divide nyo uli. Yung first term, this time is 6x to the 4th divided by x cubed. So, 6x to the 4th divided by x cubed. So, 6 over 1, positive 6 lang. Then, x to the 4th divided by x cubed. Cancel. x cubed yung x to the 4th magiging x. So, 6x. Multiply uli natin itong 6x sa bawat term. 6x times x cubed, 6x to the 4th. 6x times negative 2x squared, it's negative 12x to the 3rd. Then, 6x times 0x, so gagawin kong 0x squared. 6x times 6, it's positive 36x. Subtract. So, 6x to the 4th minus 6x to the 4th, 0. Cancel. Negative 4x cubed minus negative 12x cubed. Positive 8x cubed. 
Negative 16x squared minus 0. Negative 16x squared pa rin. Then 36x minus 36x. So 0x. Cancel na lang. Okay. Sige. Huwag ko nang isulat. Tapos. Bibring down ko na tong plus 48. Okay. Ngayon, i-divide ko ulit itong 8x cubed dito sa x cubed. So, 8x cubed divided by x cubed, 8 over 1, it's just positive 8, right? And x cubed makakancel. So, 8 na lang. Then, multiply itong 8 sa bawat term. 8 times x cubed, it's 8x cubed. 8 times negative 2x squared, negative 16x squared. 8 times 0, so 0 na hindi ko na isusulat. 8 times 6, it's positive 48. Then, subtract. So, makakancel lang lahat kasi magkaparehong magkapareho itong 8x cubed, negative 16x squared, tsaka 48. So, cancel sila. Ang remainder bali is 0. So, therefore, yung quotient natin is 3x squared plus 6x plus 8. This is the final answer. Okay, now it's your turn. So, tayo yung namang sagutan itong problems and just comment your answers.